I'm Mary McLaren. I'm Doug McLaren, and this is our story. When we first moved here uh, to Jessamine County, uh, they closed the library down <laughs> for the simple reason that they were going to make it bigger and better. So we, we have used it ever since the doors of this particular version of the library have opened. Uh, we live in Keene, and so we, we take advantage of Book in the Box all the time. Um, we simply uh, make a request through the normal channels of the catalog and have it automatically sent there and uh, we can pick it up at our own convenience. That's what is so nice. When we come to the library in person, I enjoy the displays and the art displays in the hallway are really great additions. I appreciate coming through the front door of the physical library itself and there on the right hand side are all the new books. That's where I get started and then roam through some of the other uh, the aisles that are here. So a really great feature that I like about the library is the wide availability of books on CD. Since I commute from Keene, often to Nicholasville and to Lexington, the books on CD are my constant companions on my trips. Again, it's, it's large enough uh, to, to provide for you, but yet small enough to know you. Well, we've participated in both the book club and Books and Bites. And last year, we participated in the book challenge where you would be given oh, a certain kind of book to read, and perhaps you've never read that kind of book before in your life, but it exposed a brand new area of literature. It's a, it's a book club, but the thing is, is uh, we're not reading one particular book. We're reading a, a number of different uh, books on a subject per month. One of the most interesting topics, challenges of um, Books and Bites was a book told from the perspective of a non-human. I chose one where a dog was the narrator, but some of the other people had other non-human narrators that were just really interesting. You meet uh, Carrie and Adam and Michael. They're there faithfully every month with us. And it's and the first thing that we do when we start Books and Bites is we do the personal how are you? How have you been for the past month? It's it's good to see you and it's good that you're uh, you know back and looking good and and, and uh, being part of this uh, participation. Well, I've participated in quite a few of the uh, programs that Les has presented and the craft programs, um, I've done the sewing, um, and we really enjoyed coming to the library to get our COVID shot. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> One summer, a special, special activity was reading to a fish. And both of our little grandkids read to the fish. They had an aquarium set up with a live fish in it. They had some headphones um, there that looked like they were plugged into the aquarium and the child was to put on the headphones and read a book to the fish. A special one was the Dr. Seuss and my granddaughter chose it. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Perfect book for a fish. My grandson could not read at the time so I had the opportunity <laughs> of putting the microphones on and talking to the fish. Uh, we told the librarian that we were not going to put our name into the bucket because we knew that their mother would not like to have a goldfish, which was the winning uh, category, uh, to have a goldfish being brought into the house. But it, again, it shows the diversity of the people here in the library and how unique of ideas they can come up with to promote the idea of reading on all levels even adult reading <laughs> juvenile <laughs> books to a fish. <laughs> <laughs>